Hey guys, it's your girl Malika, and I'm back in again with another video, period. So, as you all may know, or may not know, your girl's birthday was two, three days ago, on the 23rd of May. Um, before I get into the video, guys, this hair is bomb as hell. It's from Icy Hair. I did it myself. It's the first time I've ever done a wig, a unit that actually looks like where's scalp? Where's the scalp? Where's where's the scalp? I don't know. You tell me where the scalp is. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the video. So this video is basically um this video is basically advice for college freshmen who's dormant, especially who wants to dorm at CSI. You guys don't know that is that's my college college of Staten Island. So basically, I'm just gonna give you guys some advice and some tips and some and I've been having a lot of questions about like the dorming and stuff from a lot of people. So we're just gonna jump into that topic. One, if you're going to CSI, matter of fact, if you graduated class of 2020, congratulations, y'all did y'all thing, y'all graduated and y'all got accepted into colleges, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically. If you're going to College of Staten Island, congratulations to you. If you're planning on Dorman, good luck and congratulations to you as well. So, yes, so I'm basically going to break down the Dorman situation because I've got a lot of questions about Dorman. Okay, so if you're Dorman at CSI, basically, there's like three like choices you could you could choose for Dorman. There's the, um, what is there? There's the two private room. It's for $8,000. It was for $8,000 per semester when I was applying, but I think they upped the price every year, so it's probably going to be 9000 by the time y'all apply into it. It's, there's two rooms, one bathroom, so you're basically sharing it with one other person. You have a private room, the other person have a private room, you have a living room, one bathroom, and a kitchen, so it's just two of y'all. That's the more expensive route. If you got the bread, go ahead. But if you want to make friends and you like you don't want to be like a loner and like just be one person all the time, I suggest you go for like uh the four bedroom private or the or the three bedroom shared. So the four bedroom private is what I had. Um so it's basically it's gonna be four of you four of y'all. So it's gonna be your three roommates and you, and it's gonna be four of y'all y'all gonna have your own room so that's it's called a four bedroom private you have two bathrooms a kitchen and a living room that's that was seven thousand dollars i did that one um you know so you get to meet new people or whatever um what else then there's the three bedroom shared so basically you have two privates and one bedroom that is shared but it's like four of y'all still in that whole unit in the apartment so it's um three bedrooms um i'm trying to think sorry so it's three bedrooms so two people is going to get their own private room and the other two is going to share a room that's all on you you decide what you want if you feel like you want to share a room with somebody else that's i think that's six thousand dollars it's cheaper but for me, knowing the person I am, I know for a fact if I had shared anything with anybody, it was going to be a problem. Because I'm a clean freak, I'm a neat freak, I like things in my way, my order. So if it wasn't like that, but if you're not like that, go ahead, go the cheapest route, which was $6,000. Which probably, again, would probably be $7,000 by the time y'all are going to be applying because they up the price each year. Um, And I have a lot of questions about visitations and stuff. So basically, you have like basically you could sign anybody in. Like you just gotta sign them in. They gotta they have to have um a school ID or just an ID in general just to be signed in. Um. Yeah, like you could sign your friends in, but it's one at a time. So if you have like a group of friends, maybe it's a good thing you have roommates. Your uh, your other three roommates could sign in those group for those other people. Why are you signing one? They signing so each person have one person visitor at a time. You can sign in multiple people in a day, but one at a time. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. So like if you have Jerry, you said Jerry's your man's, you sign in Jerry at 1 p.m. You sign him out. 
Then you have Tom, which is your side piece, right? So you sign Tom in at 2 p.m. As long as you sign these people out, you could sign multiple people in. You feel me? Do what you feel is best. <laughs> I think that covered most of the questions I've been getting. Like the doorman, the visitations. I don't know what else y'all want me to know. Just to know. Just know it's expensive as hell. But you could do um payment plans. So you do installments or whatever. Whatever y'all feel is best in the environment. Y'all do that. Um, basically, just just stick to yourself. Like, don't even... Drama is a must in CSI. Dolphin Cove, drama is a must, okay? I it, Freshmen, I prefer, like, girls, females, freshmen, females. I prefer if you don't mess with upperclassmen, like, just... Or sophomores, sophomores, juniors, seniors, don't mess with them. Like, just go ahead and mess with your regular, regular freshmen selves. Like each each to your own as i don't know the same but each you know what i'm saying like y'all stick to with y'all stick together freshmen stick together don't try to date upperclassmen they already have something before y'all came in you know <laughs> so like it doesn't so like it doesn't make sense you're gonna get in a lot of drama um words spread around so everybody knows everybody's business i'll say just pick a group stick to that group don't gossip with that group because nine times out of ten that group is probably going to spill your business or get you in a lot of bullshit. My experience with Dorman was pretty was pretty calm. Like the first semester was a little bit rough. Second semester was uh, uh rough too. I went into CSI with a friend, um, a very close friend of mine. She lives literally the block. We went to high school together, we planned this shit together. So we went to college together and what's not. And dorming with her and then I got three, two other roommates. So I dormed with my friend, my best friend. And I got two other roommates, so it was four of us. Um, we became close. At first we did not like each other. But <laughs> we became close because you gotta coexist in one apartment. So we became close and um, yeah. Um, drama happened. One of that roommate ended up having to switch rooms, switch apartments for her personal reasons. Still, still became close. She literally moved like downstairs. We was on the third floor. She moved on the second floor. She moved out of her apartment because there was drama between her and another roommate. Um, first semester was just a lot of drama because, you know, as you get used to it, it's like you accumulate a lot of friends and like a big group is bound to, to just explode like a freaking volcano volcanic eruption so I lost a lot of friends second semester I may say I lost I lost quite a few friends <laughs> second semester um but yeah I'm still here aren't I um just stick to yourself that's all I could tell you stick to yourself do you do what you want to do Honestly, just stay out of the drama, but you're gonna get in drama regardless. It's Dolphin Cove. CSI is just drama filled. But other than that, like that's just that's just my advice to y'all. Like I don't wanna keep talking, but that's literally just my advice to y'all. Like good luck. Incoming freshmen, good luck. Hope to see you guys this semester if we're not online. Oh, also pick your roommates carefully like literally if we are dorming again if we are going on campus and it's not and next semester is not going to be online pick your damn roommates carefully there's literally an app they're going to tell you to download you it's like a dating app you literally swipe left swipe right to who people you got in common please stick with people who have the same major as you who have the same stuff as you it's going to be like a bio it's going to say if that person is a smoker non-smoker if you know just you cannot um dormant boys we tried <laughs> me and my friend we literally tried but we cannot we wish but yeah that's it that's all i got that's all i got if you guys have any questions about csi like put them in the comments i will make another video a part two to this 
and freaking answer y'all questions. I'm just trying to keep this to 10 minutes limit tops because I don't want you guys to get bored. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Put any questions y'all got about college, dorming, CSI, whatever. I will answer the questions to the best of my possible ability not possibility ability i mess with him blah, 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 now because i'm up right now period i'm on the way up because the bottom is too crowded i will insert that clip from my my used to be college friends all love though story time on that too See y'all at the top. Because the bottom is too crowded. I be on my way.